Okay, hello, greetings, and welcome, everyone. We're going to do some basic Qigong. So, as we know, Qigong is just the study and the practice of life force energy. How can we improve our own life force energy? Well, I can't exactly tell you because I'm not you. That's the wonderful thing about Qigong is it's uniquely your own energy. So it's about going within and listening to your body, what it needs. So if anything comes up during your practice, please tune into that part of your body, whether it's your hips, you need to release in there, or your shoulders, you need to breathe out, open and release. Keep doing that and repeat it. I'm gonna give you some methods that can really help you tap into this part of yourself, okay? So let's start. Let's start with a pretty basic stance. I'm gonna angle the camera mostly on my feet so you can really kind of see what's going on. Let's see, I'll move this a bit. See, can we see the feet? Okay, good. So, what I want you to do is just take any position, just kind of relax, don't think about it, and then just let your feet settle. Now look at your feet. Okay, see how they're pointed. If one's going one way, try to rearrange that. If one's coming in or you're sitting outside, just try to be cognizant and mindful of that. And we don't want our feet to be totally in a line, just maybe five degrees out or 10 degrees, whatever is comfortable. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on getting contact with the ridges of our feet and all five pads of the feet, kind of like the pads of your, uh, your, your hands, okay? So ridges of the feet and pads of the feet. Now, kind of extend out, kind of grip the ground with your toes. Please do this barefoot. And just kind of feel that sensation until it starts to, okay, maybe it's getting a bit of a workout. Now just relax. Just lift your knees a bit, find a position and really tune into those balls of your feet, the heels and toes. Now take a relaxed position, bend the knees slightly and we're gonna take a few deep belly breaths here. All right, so inhaling, exhaling, relaxing, inhaling. And relaxing, but inhaling again and relax. Now you might notice why is this guy opening up his arms when he's breathing in? And the reason for that is we have an interconnected web of fascia all over this beautiful body of ours. So when we breathe in, we can open, and when we breathe out, we can close or direct that force of energy, okay? So let's come back to a nice wide position. And now what we're gonna do are some simple loosening exercises. So breathe naturally. And what I want you to do is just swing your arms, let them gently hit your back or your butt. I like to hit the fronts and sides of my shoulders as well gets nice release, okay? So when you're doing this, you wanna really push off of the feet, off of the, the ridge and the balls of your feet and the heel. You really wanna push off of that and feel the interconnectedness of your body. And then you're gonna to wanna to push off the other side. If you'd like, you can slightly raise the heel. And we're just gonna feel that interconnectedness Nice glute activation, okay? Really developing that nice glute activation here. Good. So if you want, you can move around. If not, just stay in the same position. You can go as fast or as slow as your energy wants you to go right now. Take some deep exhales, letting the stress of the week 
emotions that are troubling you through the whole week, month, year, or day, last hour. <sighs> Remembering to come back to just pushing off the balls of your foot and the ridges of your heels, feeling it through your glutes and up through your torso, okay? So now I want you to stick in your stance and we're gonna push off of one side, we're gonna allow for it to come up and down. Okay, so one more time, I'm gonna push off this side. It's gonna, I'm gonna stick this, drill them into the ground like this. I'm gonna push off here, stay relaxed in my upper body. As I do that, I'm going to bring my shoulder and arm over and just up like that. I start with one side first, just like that. So I'm pushing off of here and I'm allowing it to go there. If you want to do something with this hand, you can just keep it loose doing this, bringing your elbow over and in, elbow over and in. Keep your thumb kind of pointed in your center, okay? So push, so you're, again, you're starting every movement with the feet, okay? So push down. Good. We're just warming up the body here. As you get the hang of this movement, you can incorporate the other hand. As you come up, you're gonna push out. As you come up, push out. So first, raising up with the wrists. Second, pushing down with the wrists. So we don't need to limit this. The core concepts are the most important, pushing off, opening, and then closing. Pushing off, opening, and then closing. So after a while, you can get very creative with how you use these methods. But for now, we're just going to stay in this position, okay? Pushing off, opening. Pushing off, opening. Now start looking up, pushing off, opening. Opening, both hands opening, getting your glute activation, opening. Good, now let's slow down the movement and refine it. You can also take a step out, okay, step out. So pushing off, inhaling, and exhaling. Pushing off, inhaling. Pushing off, inhaling, exhale. Again, pushing off, inhaling, opening that shoulder, pushing out the palm on the exhale. Pushing so we know how the feet work now. I'm gonna raise the camera. All right. Let's see how that is. Okay, I think that'll be good. Perfect. Ready to go. Now that we're warming up. So again, so I'm going to push off of here, right? Push off of here. Good. Pushing off, looking up, eyes tracing the arm. Use one or two hands and follow it. Staying in that motion. We're just coming into the center here. So I'd like to show you the other side now. So go very slow at first. Feeling it out. And don't worry about perfection. Qigong is all about rediscovering our own bodies. And un unlocking, releasing blockages stored in our fascia and meat, our meat skeleton, our meat shield, right? We're essentially brains and consciousness, conscious beings of light in piloting these bone mechs and skeletal frames. Okay, let's do a few more of those. Opening, coming. So we, again, so now we're pushing off the other side. So you're pushing while keeping this grounded. If we push together, it causes 
a spiral, right? So opening, 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 opening high, opening high and around, opening high, opening high and around. Okay? So we're changing the hip movement. We're pushing off one side, we're pushing off the other. All right. So a really nice exercise we can do now is having one foot forward, one back, about shoulder width. You can go really far if you want to, but I suggest a decent, maybe a little wider than a boxing stance and just bringing in or coming up and over. So first, we're going to come up and around and over. So I want you to inhale and exhale, keeping your crown up and not sacrificing. We don't want to be doing this. Okay. It's a different stretch. We're going to keep, we're going to keep our body, um, like in a line, if that makes sense with our, with our head. Okay. So inhaling and exhaling at your own pace. Really letting those shoulders relax. Rocking back and forth. Come up, further back, maybe one side, maybe the other side. Let's try the other side. Feel how that feels now. <sighs> feel free to take a step with your forward foot or a step back with your back foot. Keeping that crown up, just on a string. Many variations to this. But the idea is you're wrapping around, pulling in, wrapping around, pulling in. So what I'm doing with my hands is I'm coming up and around, right? So whoosh, and then grabbing, whoosh, grabbing, grabbing. So I can do it this way, I can do it this way, I can do it this way this way feeling the whole body engage here we're just warming up allowing things to be loose our next exercise we're going to do something we did similarly but just with one hand now so i'm going to come out push off remaining grounded the hip come over here just like this so i'm pushing off now I'm going to come up and around. Now I'm going to come down. Now I'm going to come back here. All right? So just like that. Get the other arm involved, feeling the flow, yin and yang, the left and the right sides of the body. A little fun with it we'll come back to the basics all about the hip and the glute activation now what's really nice is as you start to get this glute activation as you come to one side if you're grounded on one foot you might notice that there's a pressure on your other leg near your heel and what you can do is you can release that and you'll come into a very nice 180 degree turn. Okay. So everything starts from the ground up. We don't want to be just standing and then doing this. And my movement by my muscles is causing the rest of my body to shake. We don't want that. We want the first movement to start at our toes. We want to really build up that base. If you look at any martial arts, whether it be MMA or traditional martial arts, 
it's always a focus on the base, okay? Any sport, yoga, everything is about base, okay? Because our body is connected as one beautiful being, one interconnected being. One thing I like to always mention to people is the importance of really developing that glute activation in a world where we're so we're so far removed, most of us, from proper posture and proper utilization of our bodies because of driving, because of all sorts of things. Focusing back now on the practice, we are going to use this movement, this left to right, right to left, and now we're going to start to incorporate the up and the down, okay? So, to start, I'm going to raise up my wrist loose and relax my whole body. I'm do that again three times. And again. Now that we've warmed up our body, we should start to feel what we call the chi, which is the blood and the energy inside us. Okay. So let's take a nice deep belly breath just under the don just under the navel which is where your don chen is. And as I breathe I'm going to point my thumbs out and my fingers out and up almost as I'm receiving with open palms stretching out my fingertips. Okay. And as I breathe out I'm going to come around and breathe out down. Okay. So let's try that together. Inhaling, thumbs start to turn out while the fingers point outwards. Opening my whole chest cavity and shoulders. Inhaling still, now we're beginning our exhale. We're coming down, pushing down through the palms until you start to feel resistance in your chest, okay? Then coming around, inhaling. I'm going to switch my position and exhaling look down until I feel the pressure here now I'm going to allow my arms to come around my fingers to come around inhaling poking my fingers up feeling the energy building between my palms and fingers and looking up as I inhale then looking down as I exhale okay. inhaling and exhaling, wrists loose, shoulders loose, breathing deeply, inhaling, and exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling, pushing off through the glutes, through the balls of your feet, exhaling, There's many variations of this. Most important is you're pushing off the glutes, you're opening up your body, and then you're exhaling down. We don't want to be going like this, keeping the spine erect, opening, and coming down. Feeling the resistance in your chest, coming up and around, inhaling, <sighs> exhaling, pushing the palms down, feeling the natural flow of movement. You're not straining your muscle. For our next exercise, we're going to unify heaven and earth. This is called uniting heaven and earth. The Taoists believe that we are the conduits of the heavens and the earth. That is to say that we are the bridge between the earth and the celestial energy. Now take that for what you will. There's very profound benefits, healing benefits, that are found when we drill our feet into the ground and we receive energy from the earth while we receive energy from the sky. So if we think of our head, our whole body as a toroidal field, we can really heal our whole bodies because often we're 
we're not we don't have a great posture okay so we need to come up as well as bring from the earth if i'm just coming up well i'm all over the place i'm not grounded and if i'm just grounded but i'm not receiving anything from above then i'm not going to have full capabilities okay so let's try a simple exercise to begin with okay so first keep your shoulder relaxed take a deep breath next slowly raise the elbow loose wrist have it come up look not so much behind you but to the side of you gaze outwards then rotate your hand around again so all you're doing is you're using your glutes you're pushing off and you're rotating okay so as you're doing this we're just going to be flipping our hand okay and feeling what that feels like through our whole body if you feel tension that's a signal to change. Okay, so inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhale. On the next inhale and exhale, as we exhale, we're going to push up with our palms. So inhaling and exhaling. So push up with your palm. And breathe there. Inhaling and exhaling. One more time. Good. We're going to bring that down. Just hold it here. The same thing with your other arm. So bringing up the elbow. Loose wrist. Inhale. Remember, you're going to come from the base in the spiral like we learned. Okay? And we want to come right above. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling. Yeah. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. And notice your other arm. Is it tense like mine became? Tune in. This is the practice of Qigong. Tune in. Breathing in. <sighs> breathing out. Relaxing. Relax. In and out. You cannot have the hard without the soft. You cannot have the soft without the hard. The principle of duality is ever present in the study of Qigong. We have the in and the out, the open and the close. We have the up and the down, and we have the left and the right. When you combine them all, you have a really beautiful spiral energy. And when you combine that with different exercises just tuning into your body breathing <sighs> opening closing releasing traumatic emotional experiences releasing all of these things that weigh us down when we're not present in our minds to breathe slowly <sighs> to become what we always were inside the womb a perfect species now you may have injuries you may have severe traumas that you aren't ready yet to release or don't believe you can release them i'm not here to tell you that you have to or that you're not enough you're just enough as you perfectly are but i'm here to give you some tools and tips inhaling and exhaling <sighs> stretch where you feel pain Breathe into the areas more where you struggle with. 
and adapt to what limits you. Myself, I've had a severe concussion and brain injury seven years ago. For a year, I thought, uh, for a whole year, I was laying on the ground. It was, it was a horrible situation. I never thought I would get better, but through a lot of learning and trial and error, I was able to heal myself through a lot of education on nutrition and other things. But Qigong slowing down, self-healing was one of the biggest things that I did. And I thought I would never be the same again, and I was right. I actually became better in many ways. Found a way to adapt. And ultimately, that's what an organism does. If it doesn't adapt to its environment, it will not survive, and you're no different. Right? Ultimately, no one is going to save you but yourself. I have a dislocated slash separated shoulder that grew very strangely. I have multiple injuries to the shoulder. Been hit by a truck, had my shoulder dislocated and popped out. Every irreversible damage by a babysitter when I was eight. <laughs> but I'm still able to work with that. I'm still able to adapt. There's certain things I can't do. But the question is, do you let it limit yourself? Do you let it define yourself? Or do you adapt and do you overcome? Qigong is one of the most amazing practices. <sighs> so it helps unify our body, mind, and spirit. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and have a most blessed day.